there we are. We're going to start with a deal that could even trump Lionel Messi's sensational move from Barcelona to PSG. But first of all, we have to mention, so we mentioned notes yesterday, Darmesh, didn't we, about Carve? And you're writing on the back of an envelope today because you yeah, just... Yeah, no, it's, it's just been busy. such a busy day today that uh, uh, normally we make notes when we prepare. Uh, but we've just spent the whole day on the phone. I've, I've just been scribbling notes on the back of uh, letters and bills that I got this morning. So apologies if we're a bit disorganised. He hasn't today. even opened that letter yet. It's too busy. I, I think it's an invitation actually somewhere. Oh, yeah. Can't Might make be somewhere nice. Huh? Huh? Stop. Okay. Look, let's start with this though because. Um, this potentially involves two world superstars, Mbappe and Ronaldo, and you've got more on it, hopefully. Yes, look, uh, one of the biggest agents in the game is working uh, on a deal which would potentially see Kylian Mbappe uh, move from PSG to Real Madrid. And it would also see Cristiano Ronaldo move from Juventus to PSG. Ah. Now, the situation as far as Mbappe is concerned, let's deal with him first. He's got less than 12 months left on his contract at PSG. And so far, he has refused to sign a new deal. Mm. PSG are trying very hard to convince him uh, to sign a new deal because obviously he's their most famous French player. Mm. They want to keep him, uh, but it seems he has his heart set on playing at Real Madrid. But the offer of a contract is still there. PSG is still trying to get him to sign a new deal. But he's going to be a free agent uh, next summer. He could move to Real Madrid in the next few days if they make an offer for him. Or he could start negotiating with them in January and then move as a free agent next summer. Or he could sign uh, this new contract. But at the moment, it doesn't look like he's going to. Now, as far as Ronaldo is concerned, he is out of contract at Juventus next summer. Mm. Our information is that he would like to leave Juventus this summer, but he has not told them officially, I want to leave, it's over between us. The best way to put it, I think, is to say that he's open to leaving Juventus this summer. And as far as Juventus are concerned, uh, they in public will say that they would like him to stay. But I think, again, in private, if another club was to come in for him in the next few days, they would not stand in his way because uh, the contract he has at Juventus is extraordinary. And it was signed in pre-pandemic times. And obviously, we know what the pandemic has done to the finances of clubs all over the world. Uh, Juventus are not immune uh, from that as well. And I think if somebody was to make an offer for Cristiano Ronaldo in the next few days, uh, Juventus would not stand in his way. So this is just one agent who's letting us know that he's working on this deal. I'm not saying that it's going to happen uh, because it would be an extraordinary double deal. Mm. And you're talking about two of the most famous players in the world. Uh, I wouldn't put money on it happening, but it is something that is being discussed and it is something that could happen. We did uh, touch a little bit, though, yesterday that Mbappe could come to the Premier League. Is that...? I knew... I knew uh, people, <laughs> people warned me today. They yeah. said, if you start talking about Mbappe, Vicky's going to ask you, well, is he coming you know, to Liverpool? Coming to and Liverpool, I, I, yeah. I, 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 have, I have my answer prepared. I am aware of the reports that... Um, He's, he has a special sort of affinity with yeah. Liverpool Football Club Good and that he would like to play for Liverpool one day. Mm -hmm. But as things stand today, I have no information uh, that he is going to Liverpool. And I just think the level of wages you're talking about mm. uh, maybe would be out of the range that Liverpool would be willing to pay. Uh, but I, I'm, not, I'm not ruling it out, but I'm saying I'm not aware of anything at the moment. Although, of course, if Liverpool were to pull that deal off, it would be the deal of the century. Mm -hmm. Just on Kylian Mbappe and picking up on what Carve said there, this looks like a really clever strategy by Real Madrid because there's seven days left in this transfer window and we're getting reports now, could they go in for Kylian Mbappe? Mm. This would be so late to go in for Kylian Mbappe. They could do one of two deals here, as Carve alluded to there, go in for him this summer with the proviso potentially that Mbappe is not going to sign a PSG deal or tell Mbappe, you sit tight, don't leave, don't sign your contract, we can negotiate with you in January 
and we can take you for free next summer. So that's going to leave PSG with a massive decision to make. If he's not going to sign a contract, do they try and cash in and get some money for him in this transfer window or lose him for free? On the flip side, on PSG's side, it looks like a real power play between Mbappe and the hierarchy at PSG. If you remember Lionel Messi's news conference, it was dominated by Lionel Messi. Of course it was. Lionel Messi joining PSG from Barcelona. But the president of PSG, Nasser El Khalifi, was asked a specific question about Kylian Mbappe. And he put all of the onus on Kylian Mbappe and whether he would stay at Paris Saint-Germain. He said... He wanted a club that is ambitious and is competitive. Well, now you can argue, I've brought in the best player in the world. You could argue we are the most competitive team in Europe. So he went on to say, now there is no excuse for killing Mbappe. He cannot do anything but stay. So if he was to go, the PSG president can turn around to the fans and say, I did what I could. He wanted a competitive team. He wanted a competitive club. How much more competitive can I get than the man on my left? The best player in the world has arrived in Lionel Messi. And yet, in spite of that, Kylian Mbappe still wants to go. Do you know what, Vicky, actually, you made a fantastic point. Wow, that's you, a first. No, no, it really was, actually, because I, I wasn't thinking about it the way that you're thinking about it. It's in the sense that we know that Kylian Mbappe is unhappy at PSG mm -hmm. and he's got less than 12 months left on his contract. So why wouldn't a club like Liverpool be looking at the possibility of trying to sign him? Mm. Because he's one of the best players in the world. We know he's spoken very positively about Liverpool in the past. So surely if you're a Liverpool football club, you are exploring the possibility, yeah, trying to see out. Well. And of course, because of his age, mm. he's a fantastic investment for the future. Mm. And I would also say, you'd have to take the same attitude to Cristiano Ronaldo as well. Because if the information we're getting is correct and he's open to leaving Juventus and Juventus are open to selling him, I know he's 36, but look at the player that he still is. Mm. Even when he came on as a substitute on Sunday against Udinese, he was really, really unlucky not to score the winner. It was ruled out for VAR. He still looks in incredible shape. And if I was the owner of a Premier League club or, or the chairman or a chief executive, mm. my ears would be pricking up at the possibility that I could be signing Cristiano Ronaldo in the next few days. We saw what signing Lionel Messi did for PSG. They were one of the biggest stories in the world uh, that week. I just wonder if somebody's going to be tempted, apart from PSG, uh, to come in for Cristiano Ronaldo over the next few days. What is interesting, when you look at these big players, normally you're talking about huge, huge transfer fees, but you've got a position where Cristiano Ronaldo has entered the final year of his contract at Juventus, Kylian Mbappe has entered the final year of his contract at Paris Saint-Germain. So their transfer fees they actually wouldn't be the issue if a club wanted to sign you them. You could get Ronaldo for £25 million. Pounds. Exactly. And Real Madrid could go in... That's OK. <laughs> Real Madrid could go in with a really low offer for Kylian Mbappe in this summer's transfer window. And if PSG would laugh the offer off, Real Madrid would say, OK, no problem. We can wait. We'll speak to Kylian Mbappe's representatives in January, provided he hasn't signed a new contract with you. And the £20 or £30 million... Pounds for argument's sake, that we're offering you now, you won't get anymore because we're going to get him for free next summer. And it's not like he's old. He's, going to, he's in his early 20s. So we'll be buying a player at his peak anyway. So I think it's the wages that is going to be the real factor here when clubs are trying to buy players like this because the wages over the period of any of their contracts would by far dwarf what the transfer fee would be. And Domesh, Domesh Mensah's wages there, I think that is the key factor as well for Kylian Mbappe at PSG. Uh, I know that he wants to play for Real Madrid. I think the offer that PSG have made to him would make him the third highest paid player uh, at PSG. So he would be behind Messi and he would be behind Neymar. Mm. Now, I just wonder if they were to make a new offer to him which would put him on par with Neymar, for instance, whether that would Could convince they, him. Could they put him well, in? well, PSG are, are, are probably the richest club in the world, so you would think possibly they would find a way. But it looks like he wants to move to Real Madrid. But I think 
PSG will do whatever it takes to try and keep him and try and convince him to sign a new contract. It would also be a perception thing as well, wouldn't it? Because if Kylian Mbappe's at PSG and they, they are so desperate, if they are so desperate to keep him mm. and they're still saying you're going to be behind Neymar and Messi as far as your wages are concerned, why wouldn't he think, well, if you want me that badly, why am I not on par with these two players? Mm.